There are a lot of questions about what 2022 is going to look like when it comes to employment opportunities. And joining us today is Carrie Rosengana, the CEO of Capital Area Michigan Works, who has some answers for us and some tips for job seekers. Welcome to Studio 10. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Absolutely. So let's start out with workforce. How has the workforce shifted in the last year? Well, I think that we've had a lot of conversation around big things like the reshuffle, the great resignation, the big quit. Um, and from my perspective and from the perspective of our agency, we really like to see the name the great reshuffle because we know that there have been a lot of changes and shifts. And it's not that people are necessarily leaving the workforce in a permanent manner, but they're really looking for those opportunities that align with the work that they value, the environment that they value, the culture that they value in an employer. And it's really helped a lot of individuals to take some time to figure out where they want to be. Um, we also know that in 2021, there was a lot of activity with people leaving the workforce. And a lot of that did have to do with the culture of the jobs or even just reevaluating what their personal needs were in the moment. Um, so we know there's been a lot of changes, but it hasn't all been bad. Um, we've seen a lot of opportunities that have really come out of this too for both the job seekers and employers to come together and be able to help make the changes that are going to really long-term benefit both of them. So Carrie, let me ask you, what should job seekers who may be seeking a new employment opportunity in 22 keep in mind this year for that? Well, we always prep our job seekers when they come to think of an interview as a conversation. So it's a way for you to learn how learn and to hear about what the employers are prioritizing, as well as for them to get to know you and decide if you're the right fit for their organization. We always talk to our job seekers about the importance of really digging in and figuring out what's important to you, not only in the job itself, but in an organizational culture or structure. And we encourage job seekers to ask questions right up front and to do a little bit of their homework of looking at websites, um, looking at different ways in which they are communicating via social media and different channels like that so that they can get a feel for is this going to be the right fit for them well what if carrie somebody is looking for something completely new you guys have some tools for them that they can use in that process right absolutely that's where our services come in to help support the communities that we serve we have a number of variety and a variety of different resources that are available all free no charge to our job seekers to be able to come in and access um, we offer virtual services as well as in-person services right now, and those include doing different workshops that are to help job seekers feel confident in the resumes that they have available, how to address an email, or how to address a cover letter for an employer, how to be prepared adequately for when you're meeting with someone in an interview situation so that you feel comfortable knowing that you're prepared and then additionally, on top of those regular general services that we offer to all job seekers, we have more in-depth services that are available through our career coaches within our system. There are a number of programs that we offer that are eligibility based and those career coaches can walk alongside someone as they're trying to evaluate and figure out what are those next steps that they want to take, do some assessments with them to help weigh where those strengths are within those individuals, and then to figure out is there retraining that's maybe necessary, and if so, where are those training opportunities, or where do I look to try to figure out where my next step is. All right, well, a lot of helpful tips and a lot of help out there. So, Carrie, where can people go to learn more? Well, we always encourage people to visit our website, which is CAMW for Capital Area Michigan Works. Dot org. Our website has our information where you can reach out to us or if you want to stop in and pay a visit to learn more about our services, we encourage people to do that. We also would encourage job seekers and employers both to check out our social media channels where we like to share a number of different resources there as well to help make sure that we're engaging with our community from a variety of different angles. All right. Well, we appreciate all of the information today and some good tips for job seekers. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me. All right, and stick around. We've got more Studio 10 coming up after the break.